Hey, what's up guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. And today I have another brand new Android TV box I'm going to be reviewing. So this is the Miko BB2 Pro Android TV box. So we're going to be doing a quick unboxing followed by a few tests, video tests, full HD and 4K videos, a few Android games, testing Kodi performance and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you can have a quick read. So this has the S912 octa-core CPU running at 2 GHz. The, the S912 is of course the 8-core CPU. Uh, the graphics chip is a Mali 820 running at 750 MHz and you have 3 GB of DDR4 RAM. So DDR4 RAM is able to achieve higher clock speeds and is faster than DDR3 RAM. You've got 16 GB of eMMC internal storage. You've got dual band Wi-Fi supporting 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, BGN and AC. Okay, you've got Bluetooth version 4. Android version 6 Marshmallow um, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second and supports HDR10 Dolby Vision. That was the specs. This is the Mi Core BB2 Pro. So this will be the most powerful Android TV box that I've ever tested. So this does have the S912 8-core processor, but it also has 3 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So I, I definitely like to see how well that performs. So let's get the box open and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in a box. You have a user manual, HDMI cable, a UK power socket. That's it. So you got your UK power, the remote control. I am quite familiar with this remote control. Um, it's very good. It's very responsive, um, and it's got it's a full featured remote control. And you can even program your television with these buttons at the top, and it tells you how to do so at the back. And this is the aerial that you're going to plug into the Android TV box, as shown in the photo. Last but not least, the Android TV box itself. Wow, that looks cool, doesn't it? Me cool, I like it. So what you got is like a you got a shiny grey finish at the top. Uh, it's reflective, and you got a nice black Me cool logo. Okay, on the edges you got an aluminium effect all the way around, and it does look pretty cool. It does look nice. So let's just screw the antenna in. Okay, that's done. So let's quickly have a look at the ports. So on the back you have a network LAN port, optical SPDIF audio connection, AV port, HDMI port and your power socket. On the right hand side you've got two USB ports and a micro SD card slot. And that's it. At the front you've got your LED light, the logo BB2 Pro and you've got a physical power button. And this is what the bottom looks like. It looks like you've got some vents there. And that is basically it. In the hands it feels like a very well made box. It does feel very premium quality and it definitely looks the part too. I like that you can swivel the aerial in any direction so you can get the best Wi-Fi connection possible. So I'm going to hook this up to my TV and give you guys a full demonstration of what the Mi Cool BB2 Pro can do. So, th so this is the Mi Cool BB2 Pro home screen. It's totally different, completely brand new design. So let's go through it. At the bottom over here, you've got TV Center. So that's basically a shortcut to Kodi. You get Kodi 17 installed as standard on this box, but I uninstalled Kodi 17 and I installed Kodi 16 because that's the one I prefer to use at the moment. So I've got Kodi 16 on there and that's what the TV Center um, shortcut is. The next one is Explorer. If I open it, you'll see it's a file manager basically. Okay, let's go back. App Draw. So that's all the apps that are on the system. So this TV box has quite a few apps already installed on here as standard, but I went ahead and installed a few more of my favorite apps that I'm going to be using to test this box today. Um, next, we've got settings, which is fairly straightforward. So that's settings. 
and finally the last box at the bottom is web so that's the web browser okay so if I come out of that so the remote control for the Mecall works amazingly well it's very responsive it does the job great um, but I have my own favorite I got this so this is a full QWERTY keyboard touchpad with multimedia buttons navigationals volume control um, and it's absolutely amazing I love this keyboard um, and I use this with all my Android TV boxes I'll put the links in the description in case you guys want to check this keyboard out okay so the first thing I like to test is airplay mirroring here's my iPad if I scroll up click on airplay mirroring you can see it says airplay media center click on it there you go airplay mirroring working fine browser okay so this is an iPad Air running the latest iOS 10 um, as you can see airplay mirroring works great with this Android TV box so the next thing I like to do is test out 4k and HD videos from the USB stick so I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna test out some 4k clips okay so I've just plugged in my USB drive here is my 4k HD sample video if I just open that and play one of these samples I'll play the first one on the list let's see how well it plays so this is a 4K Ultra HD clip by LG and as you can see the video is playing amazingly well crystal clear video and very smooth video playback okay so let's move on to the next clip okay the next clip I got is a football match so this is a 4K Ultra HD sample by Samsung um, it's a football match and it looks absolutely amazing you can see how crystal clear the video looks so let's try something else so this is a 1080p full HD video, um, it's a trailer, let's see how it plays. So there you go guys, I just played some 4K clips from a USB drive and it works great. So let's move on. Okay, so now I'd like to test some streaming out. The first thing I'd like to test is Kodi. So if I open TV Center app, so this is Kodi 16.1 and this is the Chigs all in one build. If you like the look of this build, I'll leave the links in the description in case you guys want to check it out. So let's try a few things out, shall we? Let's play a trailer or two. So just playing a trailer. So as you can see that worked great. Let's try a different trailer. So as you guys just saw, Cody is working amazingly well. So the next thing I like to test is my favorite Showbox. So this is Showbox. I'm just going to try something out. If I just play something, like a trailer, let's play this. No signs of struggle, no signs of force. Showbox is working really well. Let's try another trailer. So Showbox works absolutely fine. Let's move on to another test. Next thing I like to test is some live TV. So I'm going to open up one of these apps. So the next thing I like to test is some live TV. So as you can see, live TV is working great. So the next test is going to be YouTube. So here's YouTube, I've just opened my channel, if I just play any of, any of my recent videos. So 
so yeah YouTube works great now it's time for some gaming I've just connected my wireless controller this is the G600 my current favorite controller I'll put the links in the description in case you guys want to check this controller out um, this controller works via a USB dongle which I've plugged in already you press the center button and immediately the controller is active so I'm now able to control this Android TV box with this controller so the first game I like to test is Lego Jurassic World so just loading up Lego Jurassic World yeah so here I am I'm playing Lego Jurassic World right now on the me call box and it plays great it looks great I'm using the G600 controller so Jurassic World plays very well let's move on to another game next game I like to test is Dead Trigger 2 all right so I'm just beginning to play Dead Trigger 2 I have to say the graphics look absolutely amazing nice very smooth gameplay is very smooth so the game actually plays really well it looks amazing it looks the graphics look amazing um, I can't fault it at all all right so let's try another game so the next game I like to test is Real Racing 3 so as you can see I'm playing this game the game plays very well sounds great looks great the graphics look awesome uh, this is one of my favorite racing games on Android anyway but this Android TV box definitely handles gaming very well all right so the next test I'm going to be doing is a Wi-Fi test beginning the Wi-Fi test So there you have it, the download speed is 41.96 megabytes per second and the upload speed is 9.74 megabytes. I've got a 40 meg internet connection so the, the, the results are surprisingly good. So now I'm going to be doing a benchmark test. Okay, so I'm beginning the benchmark test now. So there you have it, the MiCool BB2 Pro has achieved an amazing score of 38,851 so yes yeah, quite a high score for our Android TV box so there you have it guys that was the me cool BB2 Pro Android TV box so this Android TV box is a beast it's very powerful um, I, I really did feel the difference in speed thanks to the 8 core processor combined with 3 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM um, everything I did the menus navigating playing games everything was just swift and worked great um, I had no buffering on Kodi um, there was no problems no issues whatsoever um, everything I tried worked great as you guys just saw so what I'll do is I'll put the links in in the description below so you guys can check this item out and if you like it you can also go ahead and purchase one for yourselves I hope you guys found the video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.